I literally had just taken off all of my makeup. I was laying in bed, ready to go to sleep. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my everyday makeup routine at 1130 at night. Love it. Nowhere to go. It's coming right off after I make this. So, whatevs. All right, first things first, putting my hair up in a ponytail so that my hair isn't all up in my face when I'm trying to do my makeup. After I've done that, I take my moisturizer. Um, I use Nurture Me by Ole Henriksen. This one works wonders if you have rosacea. So if you struggle with any redness like I do, this one is a must. After I have put my moisturizer on, I'm taking my concealer and I'm just putting in the areas that I obviously need to conceal. Um, so any like red areas, my dark circles under my eyes, all that good stuff. I don't really use foundation on a daily basis. I only use foundation if I'm, you know, going out or if it's a special occasion or anything like that. Then I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty sponge and I am just blending all of that out. I'm then taking my Laura Mercier powder because all of the beauty gurus told me to use this one, so I've been using it for years. Um, I am going to just take that with my sponge and put it in all of the areas that I concealed. Next, I'm gonna be taking my paddle brush from Tarte. She almost dropped it there, whoops. Um, I'm gonna be taking this dark bronze color from the Tarte Holiday Palette from last year, and I am just going to warm up my face. So I'm going to warm up my cheekbones, my forehead. Um, I even put it at the tip of my nose just to make my face look a little bit more warm. After I am finished applying all of that, I take my Real Techniques Beauty Blending Sponge and I don't add any additional product. I literally just buff it out so that I don't look muddy because, um, God forbid, I look muddy. No thank you. After I'm done buffing my face, I'm gonna be taking my blush brush. I'm taking Flower Child by Becca, and I'm just gonna put that all over the apples of my cheeks and on the tip of my nose. After I'm done applying all of that, I'm gonna be taking my sponge one more time, and I'm just gonna keep buffing so that it doesn't look streaky. Then I'm taking my Total Temptation Brow Pencil from Maybelline in the shade Medium Brown. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they... Okay, so then I'm gonna take that little spoolie brush on the brow pencil and just brush my eyebrows, and then I am going to be filling in those gaps. I don't really draw um, anything like too over dramatic, just because my eyebrows are already pretty thin and pretty light, so I want them to look as natural as possible. Same thing with her sister over there, just gonna fill in the gaps and draw those little hairs on the inside. After that, I'm going to take my spoolie brush one more time and just brush through my brow hairs. And then I'm going to be grabbing an angled brush and get my concealer and start carving out my brows. If you don't do this already, which I'm sure all of you do, um, but if you don't do this already, I think that this is a super, super important step of doing your eyebrows um, because I think it really just ties everything together. Otherwise, it'll just look a little bit sloppy, at least on me it does. Um, so I just like it to look a little bit defined like that. And then I'm taking my finger and I'm just kind of blending it out by myself without the brush. 
after that is eyeshadow so um i just take the lighter bronze color from that palette and i put it in the crease of my eye i love using bronzer as eyeshadow i just think it makes it look a lot uh, more natural and then i'm taking a blending brush and i'm just blending out that crease I'm going back into my palette and I'm taking that darker bronze shade and I am going to put it on my outer V and then after I've done that, I grab my blending brush again and I just blend it out. Okay, cool. So we're looking nice and blended. So we're going to dip back into that light bronze shade and run it underneath our lower lash line. After I'm done doing that, I take the dark bronze color um, and then I do the exact same thing and run it under my lower lash line on both sides. And then um, from there, I just kind of blend it out to meet that top shade, if that makes sense. So then I'm taking this BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette, I'm taking that champagne color and I'm just gonna pop it onto my lid with my finger. This angle is just really working um, for me because you are able to see directly inside of my nose, which is super great. So after I'm done with that glitter shade, I'm taking my blending brush and blending it out one more time. Then I'm taking a tapered brush and I'm dipping into a dark brown eyeshadow. Um, I just think it looks a lot prettier and a lot more natural when you use an eyeshadow compared to an eyeliner. And I'm just gonna run it on my top lash line. Um, I'm not doing anything like too defined. I'm just kind of running it on there and I kind of angle it out a little bit just because it makes your eyes look a little bit more almond shaped when you do that. So obviously we're going to do the exact same thing to that other eye. Um, so just kind of put that on your top lash line. Next, I took my mascara and I tried applying it on camera, um, but it was kind of hard for me to do it. So I did it off camera, which you will see right now. There she is. Mascara is done. I'm then taking this light pink shimmer shade and I am popping that into my inner corner. That is my favorite part of my makeup is that inner corner. I just think it makes your eyes look so much bigger and so much prettier. Then I'm going to be popping that exact same shade under my brow bones. I then take my highlighting brush and I use that eyeshadow as my highlighter and I put it on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose and on my cheekbones. Then I take my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. This is my everyday shade. I think it's beautiful and I put it all over my lips. All right, and that is the completed makeup look. It is super simple, super wearable, I think. Um, this is my literal every single day makeup routine unless I'm going out or something. Um, beauty and grace, yes. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.